Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, well, you had to have subscribed if you're watching me. But please make sure you share, share the word and spread the wealth and let everybody know that they can catch your boy, Aaron McCargo Jr., the original only Big Daddy, here on YouTube, as well as on Instagram and on Facebook. And before I get started, for those that have ordered your sauces and your spices over the last two weeks, I'm hoping that everyone's receiving. We've been having a lot of issues with the mail, but we've been getting everything out. My team has been working nonstop to make sure all the orders are out. And for those that haven't ordered the sauce or the spice or even attempted to try out the seafood, today is your lucky day. Before I get started, you can find me at AaronMcCargo.com. If you're trying to figure out how to order the spice, please pass the word on. Please share the word, AaronMcCargo.com, to order your seafood sauce, which is only for a limited time, for 12 bucks. The original, which is 12 bucks, or the spice for eight dollars. And then we got another size spice. Yes, we got a 12 ounce bottle of the spice for ten dollars for a limited time only, folks. Go to AaronMcCargo.com, get your orders in, we'll get them out as soon as possible. And speaking of seafood, for those that have received the seafood sauce, let me tell you, you're in for a treat. So for the next two or three weeks, I'm gonna be showing you what you can do with the seafood. So for jumps, I want to just go ahead and let you know. Once you've opened your bottle, for those that have received it, I'm sure you saw the deep, dark red color. So you know it's a big difference between the seafood and the original. You've got that smoky taste, you got a little bit more heat, and you got a little bit more citrus in the seafood, which makes it perfect, really perfect for seafood. I had someone queue, if you're watching, she hit me up a couple days ago, like, I just received my seafood sauce. What do I do with a chef? I got some fish and I got my air fryer. I says, Q, take that fish, lather it up with that seafood sauce, put it in your air fryer four to six minutes, and she sent me pictures. I hope she posted them, but it's just that easy. I got my heat going on here, got my pan getting hot. What we're gonna do is a colossal crab, not just crab, not baby crab, not pink crab, not red crab, not blue claw crab. We talk about colossal crab and udon and asparagus soup. This is something that Jordan wanted. So if you're wondering about what I mean by colossal, this is a nugget. <laughs> oh yeah. If you talk about rocking diamonds and getting iced up, you might as well get crabbed up. Well, hold up. Get this type of crabbed up with the colossal crab. These are the lumps that are popping out right here. Big lumps of colossal crab knuckle meat. And I'm going to add these lumps to the pan with some asparagus, some carrots, some bean sprouts, a little bit of broth, but not too deep. So let's just jump into it. I got this pan pretty hot, and I'm going to hit it with just about a teaspoon of sesame seed oil because I want a little bit of the Asian uh, flavor there. Don't worry about it. It won't take away from the seafood sauce itself because that's going to be all the seasoning and the flavoring coming from the seafood sauce. So I'm going to go in backwards this time. Normally, I will saute my seafood and then veggies. We want to get our asparagus in here. And I'm going to just do one order. So as many asparagus as you want or don't want is fine. Because this is what's going to take the longest to get like, sort of like blanched. Um, I got these pieces, some of them are a little too big here. Let me break it down. Um, but not too soft. So I didn't pre-blanch them because I wanted to saute them off. And if you're wondering about a new udon noodle, this is what they look like. They're fat noodles. If you're from my town, Camden, New Jersey, we should go to the China Clipper and get pork yacht. And you will get these noodles, really thick, fat noodles with pork and gravy and onions. Amazing. So if you're wondering where to buy it from, this is the, one of the brands I use. Udon noodles, you can get it from the supermarket. Don't stress about it. It's readily available, easy to buy and find. And all you want to do is parboil it a little bit and call it a day. So I got my asparagus here. This is super fast, folks. Super fast. So I got my seafood sauce about to go in. And as you can see, it's really dark, rich color. I'm just gonna put a scoop of that seafood sauce in. Drop my udon noodles and the broth right in the pan. Get that sizzle for shizzle. I hope you can see me through all this steam. Get yourself a little part-time facial while you're making this. Now I'm just gonna rock the noodles, the asparagus, and this is for those that haven't used the sauce or wondering about like, this guy is all hyped up on the seafood sauce, the spice. What is this all about? It's about taking all the stress out of friggin', figuring out how you want to season your food properly and how you want to have it consistently. Because in the sauce and in the spice, we have everything you need to make food taste great. You don't have to add any garlic, any salt, 
any pepper, any oil, any citrus, anything. But fresh herbs if you decide to do, or a couple different spices to make it yours. But other than that, the sauce and the spice is everything you need. So in this pan, I got my asparagus, I got my udon noodles, and it's come together really good. I got me some carrots, and I'm just throwing this in for color, folks, because pretty much this is all done right now. But I do want to get a spoon to taste my broth. Hold on. Now, one thing about using the sauce or the spice, the greatest thing about me not giving you recipes is because you can create your own because it's all in the bottle. So it's about how intense you want the flavor or how less intense you want it. That's how much you add or don't add to whatever you're making. So I want this, now remind you, the seafood has a lot more kick than the original. So I want to make sure I got the right amount of kick, right amount of flavor. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, we way off. I'm going double dipping in here. I'm going for a whole nother big scoop of the seafood. Yes, because I want the crab to get in this broth. <laughs> yes, I want this crab. I, I got to say that because I can taste the asparagus flavor and I can taste that heat from the seafood. So in weeks to come, we're going to do some sauteed clams and white sauce. We're going to do some shrimp scampi, things of that nature. But today, it's about an udon noodle and asparagus soup. Now, I got to go back in here for another taste. And I know it's on the money right now. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kill the heat, folks. Ooh. Be careful when I suck the scoop. Unless you like the heat, and I love the heat, I can go two more scoops in here. You will definitely taste what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the seafood flavor, the crab, the citrus, and the heat. Now, I want to go ahead and add me some scrambled eggs. Because I got like a little bit of this fetish with fried rice. So anytime I get to get the scrambled eggs in there, I want to do that. I'm going to go and put these colossal lumps in here. Now, for the friends you don't like and you're making this for, get you some back fin. <laughs> or just some lump. Don't get the big, the big dog colossal meat because this is very expensive. We're talking about anywhere between $35 and $45 a pound. So... This is for me and the family. So I'm going to drop about eight nuggets in here. And a taste for me. Mm. Bean sprouts. Never added my carrots. Let me put my carrots in here. You can add any veggie you want. You don't do crab meat. Do scallops. Do shrimp. Do tempeh if you're a vegan or vegetarian. What's up, Kelly? Out there in California trying out the sauce for the first time. Doing great vegetarian vegan dishes with it. She got real bold with it. Oh, so we get to get a good toss on this. Very gentle. And you'll notice there's not a lot of broth. Because I really don't want it to be a brothy soup. I just want it to be flavorful. And the crab meat just needs to get heated up in the broth and in the noodles. So you don't have to pre-cook this. It's already pasteurized and cooked. You just really want to get it tossed and all that goodness. And I don't know if you can see in this pan. But this is like a really good pan of goodness. If you've never dialed in the seafood or the original sauce, you got to get it. No salt, no pepper, no nothing. I'm going to slide this out of the way. Yes. And put this right in front of you. I think I got everything. Yeah, we good. And I'm going to just ladle this right in the bowl. And I know Kim is going to love this because she's a seafood fanatic. She doesn't do the meat. And definitely veggies is her go-to. And when you're talking about udon noodles, eggs, asparagus, crab meat, the sauce, the seafood, that sauce, you can't go wrong. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that broth in here. Yes, yes. Someone's like, okay, that was too easy, too fast. Eggs, asparagus, noodle, crab meat, carrots. The sauce, the seafood, the sauce, of course. I got me a little bit of scallions going here. I like the jalapenos. It's already spicy. But we're just going to drop a couple in here for a little extra heat and love. Got me some flat leaf parsley for garnish. And I hear someone coming in my door. 
so they must realize it's time. And I'm just for a little bit of love, that Asian love, I'm just dropping a little couple drops, folks. Just a couple drops of soy, not much. I don't need it for salt, I don't need it for flavor. I just need it to say pop, pop. You feel what I'm saying? There we have it. This crab and udon noodle soup with asparagus and using the seafood, the sauce. <sighs> the moment that I've been waiting for. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig in here. And I know someone saying like, I didn't get to see you today. <laughs> well, now you know why. By far, one of the best. Justin doesn't like big noodles. I'm going to convert him today to big noodles. He's a Capellini kind of guy. I'm a udon kind of, kind of guy. But trust me. Make this udon asparagus and colossal crab. If you don't find a colossal crab, get jumbo lump, get lump. Uh, I would say get no back fan, no special. Just get something that's got some, some texture to it. If you want to do the imitation crab meat for this, feel free to do it. Because the major difference in making this amazing and great, it's a seafood sauce. So if you got the seafood sauce and you're into seafood, this is your dish you got to make. I'm sorry I'm missing you live, but I'm glad you're catching me on YouTube. Let everybody know I'll be hitting you up on YouTube a lot more in the future. But coming next week, I'll be back with more delicious recipes. And just things I'm creating on my own on the fly using the seafood sauce. Yo, folks, remember, social distancing. Respect your neighbor. Love everybody. Live in a moment. It's your boy with the seafood, the sauce. And this delicious dish, this Asian dish is going to be on somebody's menu sometime soon. I love you, God bless, and I'm about to eat. Look, I was about to eat and drink this. I better go back to the bowl. I'll holler at y'all. Catch you later. Peace. Money in the bank.